Out this comment has sparked conversations among many people. The CEO of the Fort Wayne Women's Bureau told us today that she is very disappointed. We think it's very hard for people to pass judgment if they haven't experienced this themselves or through a loved one. And you need to be very careful what you say until you walk in somebody's shoes. So how do those affected by rape feel about Murdoch's remarks? Well, today we asked that question to a woman who was conceived as a result of rape. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth is here at the desk now with more. Mark and Heather, this woman actually told us that she spoke with Murdoch earlier today. Her name is Rebecca Kiesling. She was born in Michigan where her mother couldn't legally have an abortion. Today, she's defending the Republican candidate for U.S. Senator. Rebecca Kiesling says she has always been pro-life. I learned when I was 18 that I was conceived when my birth mother was abducted by a serial rapist at knife point. She actually went to two back alley abortionists and I was almost aborted. She first saw Murdoch's comments on rape and abortion on the internet. The headline looked a little bit odd to me, but then I read his entire statement and I just thought how unfair that his words were twisted and manipulated so much. Really, I believe that these people are crying wolf. They're making hay out of nothing. Republican candidate for governor Mike Pence said earlier today Murdoch should apologize. Kiesling says that should be left up to others. He did apologize for misconceptions. I don't think that he needed to apologize. I think that the people who have manipulated his words need to apologize. Today, Kiesling spoke with Murdoch and thanked him. I appreciate the stand that he's taken and that I understand exactly what he was saying. And I appreciate that he's putting forth the message that we are created by God. Now, we spoke with Rebecca for several minutes on Murdoch's remarks. And Mark and Heather, you can catch up with uh, more of what she said over on Wayne.com. We also asked her more about her own personal story. Okay, Randy Spieth tonight. We appreciate it.